The web of life is woven around every living thing, connecting each creature in its creation. It was so spectacular, it simply changed my life. For Susan Myers, one wonder flies above the rest. When I look at a monarch, I see beauty, but also fascination. That fascination turning to frustration as the population of monarch butterflies plummets 60% this year alone. When you see just how few trees have monarchs on them, it's just, it's heartbreaking. Myers is a volunteer with Monarchs Across Georgia, a conservation group working to protect the butterflies. Oh yeah, he's drinking. She advocates across the state and in her own garden, where she plants native milkweed to support migration. Very depressing, and it just makes you want to come back home and do something. UGA professor Sonia Altheiser is trying. Monarchs are part of an interconnected community or a web of life. She follows monarch migration from Canada across the U.S. to the mountaintops of Mexico, nearly 3,000 miles. They migrate the longest distance two-way of any insect species in the world. Constant movement, the color and the sound and the sights, and just to be surrounded by so much life and something so amazing is a, a life-changing experience. But she says climate change, the use of herbicides that kill milkweed, and now disease are drastically slowing migration. It could be on the order of 50 million monarchs maybe that aren't migrating successfully now because they're infected with this protozoan. She studies the protozoan parasite attacking monarchs in her lab. If they're infected, what we'll see is protozoan spores, almost looks like dirt or coffee grinds. The parasite is passed from adult butterflies to caterpillars, causing millions of spores that cripple monarch wings. If you think about us, like if we had to run a marathon with the flu, we probably wouldn't do very well, and it's the same for these butterflies. Her team is seeking answers to protect monarchs and the web of life. If insects were to disappear, people would probably also disappear because we depend on them in so many ways. She says the food chain would collapse without insects, and butterflies are vital to the human life cycle. We are all connected, and we can all help. These are resilient little animals, and they can bounce back if we give them a chance. Reporting in Athens, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.